so we have this now we can disable or even put the full name as read only let's start with disabled so we have this attribute and we can also assign it to a variable and let's call it is input full name disabled we want this variable to return true or false according to some condition and that condition will be if the first name and the last name are already filled how can we do that let's uh, start with the first possible approach by using the knockout computed or pure computed functions you must read knockout documentation to understand these functionalities it is like an event listener for when the observable value is changed all the observables used inside these two functions are evaluated and every time one of them changes its value the function we give to the knockout computer is triggered let's start by declaring it so this dot input equals knockout dot let's use computed for now you can use pure computed you can read the documentation but for now I'm using the knockout computed and inside this method we give a function let's pass a unnamed function here with more space and here we can simply let's say make a console log to see the values of the first name and to see the value we need to execute the observable and we can also print the last name value so every time this observable changes we will have these two prints and every time this observable also changes we will get also the two console log we need to give the second argument as the scope that is the this keyword otherwise this this keyword will be uh, re referencing the function scope and not the customer view model scope so we need to give it we can also use the bind this when we are working with functions if you know javascript but here as this method uh, receives the second argument to be the scope we just use this way let's see if it's working and this is null and null because the value changes to null in the first time when it is assigned mm, let's put here test and press tab and we have a print last we press tab and we have the values here again so this method this knockout method allows you to trigger the function you give to it when the when the observables inside of the function are changed when the value of the observables inside of the given function are changed now let's start by having some logic here firstly check if the first name and the last name are updated otherwise we will not do nothing if we have some values if the value there is a, a truthy value not false not a zero not an empty string it will be some value we will for now return true and if not we will return false Every time we have values in the two observables, we will return true and the logic is not correct. So we need to return false as it is disabled and true. So if we have values, the disabled will be false. And if we don't have values inside the two observables, we return true to disable the full name OJ input text. So let's see. And there it is an empty full name test and then you can one two three and now it is 
enabled. This is how you can have some logic to disable or enable your inputs. You can use the same logic to the read only attribute and it will be read only and it's enabled again. For now let it be disabled so we don't need to give a sign we just put disable and here we will change its value using also the knockout computed we can do this in different ways let's start with the knockout computed let's use the input full name here and delete it from here and if you have this two values we will return its concatenation using the backticks notation for strings space and then the second sorry the second argument it will return this string otherwise it will return an empty string as soon as we have the two values we will display the value as the concatenation of the two observable values otherwise we return an empty string so let's try it test and then one two three and we can see we have test one two three without refreshing the html element by using the knockout computer method another possible way of doing this is by declaring a normal observable for the full name and then we can use the subscribe method we can use on each observable again you, you need to read the knockout js documentation and we are right now assuming that when you fill the last name you already filled the first name value we can force that and we will do it later but for now let's stick with this assumption i can use the subscribe subscribe method and give it a function a named function here the function will receive the value when this value is changed and we can simply as soon as this value is changed display the name again but this time not returning but changing the observable value itself with the concatenation of the of the two values You can also use the value otherwise you can simply use the underscore notation to to state we don't want to know whatever we are receiving and we are having an error and this is to demonstrate to you that we need to bind the this keyword otherwise that will not work let me try if we can give it as a second argument yes it's the same notation again or we can do simply this and it will work as well because we are binding the scope to the function itself now let's force the user to fill the first name and then the last name so we need to have the disabled on the last name is input last name disabled don't forget the read only as we need to read the values from the view model and the jet component will not update this value we need to declare it and let's use again the knockout.observable oh, knockout dot the knockout dot computed function or method that receives a function let's bind this keyword and here you already know how it's done so if we have the first value we just need to return false 
otherwise we return that it is disabled let's see the application it's disabled we press like john and then we press tab and it's now enabled of course if you see when i press tab and i am using column it will change to the weight and right now it's not a good thing to have it uh, as a column so i'm changing it to row i need to rearrange again so now all the inputs must be one after another first name last name and full name and if i say john press tab it it's now enabled we can put value press tab and this is john value this is how you can force some inputs to be disabled until the user feel another input you can also make some inputs as required let's put the first one as required and it will show to you this little star i have something there yeah now it is required later we will add some form validations for the required inputs if you go to the api doc for the oj input text if you see the attributes and we will choose the value one we can see we have the on value changed event so we can also use this approach to change the disable attribute by giving it let's use this so as soon as we change this value on value changed here it is equals to input first name value changed let's say on input first name value changed and we can replace this logic here by this dot and it should be camel case not pascal case equals to function basically what we want is return if the the last name is disabled or not so is this called here we will receive an event let's console log it we can remove this function this one is for the last one we can do it later so for this example this input last name disabled is, is not fine um hmm we can delete that and then we need to state that it is disabled in the first uh, time we load the page so firstly it will be disabled as we want it and then accordingly to this on value change function we will change it so first name blah and we have the value changed event and we have the updated from and details 